The attachment of an enzyme to a carrier relies on well exposed residues of different nature at the enzyme surface. For example, negatively charged amino acids like aspartic and glutamic are useful for cationic exchanges. Histidines are useful for coordination with metal chelates. Systems are able to establish disulfide bridges. Aromatic amino acids and other aliphatic ones like leucine are useful for hydrophobic absorption and lysines and arginines are uh, the good uh, residues for ionic exchange. Mainly, lysines and cysteines are the best amino acids in the surface of enzymes to make irreversible bonds through nucleophilic attack and Michael addition reactions. Thus, we can have three major types of demobilization chemistry, reversible, by affinity, and irreversible. Reversible immobilization often requires mild immobilization conditions. The carrier can be recovered upon the enzyme inactivation, and the immobilization takes place through uh, multivalent interactions. However, the major drawback uh, um, of this type of immobilization is the enzyme lixiviation or leakage and the high reactivity of the surface upon the immobilization. The second type is the immobilization through affinity, where the enzyme is bound to the carrier uh, reversibly, but with a low dissociation constant, which makes the anchoring very stable under a broad variety of operational conditions. This immobilization is extremely selective and the orientation of the enzyme regarding the carrier surface can be easily controlled. However, long spacer arms or large protein domains are normally needed to anchor the enzyme to the carrier surface. As the interaction between the enzyme and the carrier takes place through a protein domain or peptide, this immobilization is often categorized as univalent immobilization. Finally, the irreversible immobilization avoids the enzyme uh, lixiviation or leakage during the operational process, can promote multivalent interactions and stabilize the immobilized enzymes to a larger extent than the other two types of immobilization chemistry. But at the expense, irreversible immobilization can recover low specific activity upon the immobilization. This activity lost is normally due to the harsh immobilization conditions needed for this type of chemistry. An additional drawback of this immobilization is that the carrier must be disposed together with the enzyme when this is inactivated. So, we have a, a, a three types of a, a, a reversible immobilization. Uh, one is ionic chain, where the enzyme is bound through the um, cationic uh, 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 negative groups on the surface, that aspartic and glutamic. Uh, for example, hydrophobic absorption, where hydrophobic residues normally in a hidden pocket, they can be exposed somehow uh, 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 and, and interact with the hydrophobic surface uh, uh, of the carrier. These residues are normally phenylalanine, tryptophan, leucine, alanine. And cationic chain is the reversible immobilization where basic amino acids are involved, like lysine, arginine, or histidines, and we have a carrier with uh, negatively charges, so we can have an electrostatic interaction between both. For the immobilization through affinity tags, we can have peptide tags as the well-known his tag, for example, but also we can have other tags for selective bindings of metal surfaces or the spy tag, the spy tag that makes an irreversible bone on surfaces functionalized with the protein uh, domain uh, named as a spy catcher. Another type of tags are the protein-based domains like cohesin domains, uh, sugar binding proteins like maltose or glutathione transferases. Finally, the last type of affinity mobilization strategy is based on the antigen antibody strategy, targeting the enzyme of interest with an epitopope recognized by an antibody that is immobilized on the surface of the carrier. We can have the immobilization of the protein of interest. Regarding the irreversible, the irreversible immobilization, we need to find the protocol where the immobilization conditions are not too harsh for enzymes, but these conditions allow to promote a multivalent interaction between the protein and the carrier surface through short spacer arms. 
Moreover, if we control the rigidity of the carrier and the region of the enzyme surface where the mobilization takes place, we can achieve a highly stable immobilized enzyme through these irreversible attachments. To do so, we can activate the carrier with uh, 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 two, type, uh, two main types of reactive groups, epoxy and aldehyde groups. The aldehyde groups can be short aliphatic aldehydes, named, named as glyoxyl groups, and are and, uh, and special types of aldehydes, glutal aldehydes, that present different uh, uh, features. Regarding the, nucleophilic, uh, the nucleophiles in the enzyme surfaces, lysines are among the most abundant residues at the protein surface that can act as a nucleophile when they are deprotonated. However, the pKa's way is around 10 and needs an alkaline conditions to efficiently interact with the carrier functionalized with these aldehydes or epoxy groups. To note, the N-terminus amine of the proteins is a low pKa amine with a pKa around 7, which can drive the immobilization under more physiological pHs. Besides lysine, cysteines are also broadly used to directly interact with epoxides under more neutral conditions. In general, we can find, but in general, we can find that the glyoxyl chemistry tends to thermally stabilize proteins to a higher extent than other reactive groups due to its capacity to promote intense multivalent attachments between the enzymes and the carrier surfaces functionalized with these glyoxyl groups. All these immobilization chemistries can be combined in what we call heterofunctional carriers, where the enzyme's immobilization takes place through a sequential mechanism. The carrier is functionalized with two or more groups that allow the reversible but also the reversible interaction between the enzyme and the carrier. First, the enzyme is rapidly immobilized on the carrier under mild conditions through reversible interactions like ionic bridges or through selective interaction based on affinity, like for example histac and metal chelates. But next, the enzyme, which is now very close to the carrier surface, can form irreversible bonds with other reactive groups in the carriers, for example with aldehydes or epoxides. Under the same uh, conditions of the first immobilization or different conditions uh, as these ones in order to promote this uh, uh, multi-point covalent attachment between the enzyme and the carrier. For example, in this case, uh, the enzyme can be performed, the immobilization can be performed at P7 uh, to favor the ionic interaction between the enzyme and the surface and then the pH, uh, once the enzyme is immobilized, can be uh, 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 rise up to them to promote the multivalent interaction uh, between the enzyme and the surface. According to this, we can combine either epoxy or aldehydes with a plethora of other groups to control the first absorption of the enzyme to the carrier. For example, we can use primary amides to drive the immobilization through acidic regions with carboxylic groups to drive the immobilization through positively charged regions of the protein with metal chelates to drive the immobilization through the his tags or uh, through or, or regions with his clusters or with boronic esters to establish covalent interactions with covalent, sorry, with glycosylated proteins through the cis diodes of the protein glycans exposed in the surface. Finally, in this table, I would like to illustrate the times um, and uh, uh, the types uh, uh, of uh, uh, enzymes and carriers that can be uh, thermally stabilized by immobilization. As we can see here, irreversible immobilization through glyoxyl chemistry can be achieved, uh, 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 so it can achieve an stabilization factor of 1000 in comparison to the 10 times stabilization factor achieved with reversible immobilization chemistry. The take home messages of these units are that the immobilization protein takes place through different surface residues. There are three main types of immobilizations, reversible, by affinity, and irreversible immobilization. And finally, the immobilization protocol is well designed and can improve the enzyme properties such as stability or uh, 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 operational stability.